So does this look familiar? That's Eagle Mountain Lake, by the way. That's a uh, Azel out there, right? So on storm drains, I'm gonna go over three real simple options. You know, my house is 1973 and uh, it's got plenty of um, uh, issues that I get to uh, challenge myself with. Um, but, uh, you know, we've got customers that call that have different issues and, and everybody's got different issues depending on uh, on their house and, and whatnot. But uh, this last uh, bit of rain, and, and by the way, our rainiest month is May. The next rainiest month is, guess, no, it's October. So uh, um, the rainiest months are at the beginning of the year, but October kicks off again. So one thing is that, you know, this happens every year. I think we forget about it, but uh, um, we get these floods and then the lake fills up and then summertime comes, everything drops. And then we get this hit in October. So at least we get a hit in October to fill it back up and kind of even it out. But, uh, you know, Texas, it's not like Seattle. We get, um, we get dumped on and then we've got to handle a massive amount. And then in July, we're looking for it, but right now we're trying to get rid of it. Um, so anyway, there's three ways to deal with it. It really depends on what kind of issues, um, you're seeing. Is it just a wet spot in the yard? Is it, um, water getting in the garage, like through the garage door, or is it uh, um, water's washing out your fan foundation and um, and getting into the front door because of just a volume of water whenever it's dumping. Um, so anyway, let's cover three topics real quick. French drain, and uh, that's not from France, that's the guy's last name, trench drain. A trench drain is like a trench, and then uh, a drainage flume or a swale. So we'll cover those three options and see what um, fits you best. Or if you're okay, maybe you just need to make sure you keep your stuff maintained before the uh, the next big storm. So this is an example of a French drain. So you've got your gravel, a pipe, and then this material here lets the water in, but it's supposed to keep the dirt out. So it keeps um, the fine sediment from clogging the pipe and keeps it working for a longer amount of time. Um, so this is good for collecting water and then letting it get into the pipe and the pipe's a conduit to get the water to flow out. Um, so everybody calls almost every pipe in the ground for a yard drain, a French drain, but that's not necessarily true. There's a lot of pipes that are put in um, and actually in our environment coming off a downspout or a gutter or something like that, you can just run a straight pipe out to the curb and pop it up out in the curb. Um, let me show you another one though, and this is kind of a, this is a Easy Flow from NDS, and that's a good manufacturer, and they use actual peanuts um, or styrofoam type peanuts, kind of like a packing peanut, but they're more dense and kind of engineered specifically for this application. And then they have the fabric as well to keep the sediment out. This example here is a golf course, uh, kind of like a case study for them. They put in a French drain and then on top of that, which is a really good idea, they put a swell. So if there is a ton of rain um, that overwhelms the drain, it would flow through the recessed portion in the ground. And also that recessed portion kind of forces the water to want to get in to the pipe. Because if you run our... Uh, like our, our hard clay out here, a lot of times that clay expands and doesn't let the water in. So they've got sand on top of this one. That sand lets the water through a little bit better than our clay would. So anyway, um, it's kind of redundant to add a um, swell on top of the French drain. Let's go over trench drains next though. So on trench drains, this is an example of a um, same company over here. This one's in Lubbock actually, but uh, this trench drains around a track and a football field in the middle. Um, this is a, a great application for in front of your garage. Um, if you've got water getting in the garage or around a pool or even interior around a pool to catch the water, the water flows in a drain and gets out of there. Um, 
I would say with this one, with the forming cost and the concrete, and a lot of times if it's in front of a garage, uh, it's it's more expensive. Um, but what do you do? Um, it's kind of uh, the only option in a lot of uh, applications without redoing everything. Um, so again, some of these are really nice and some of them are, are kind of cheap plastic and uh, uh, and then there's some in, in more commercial ac applications that are precast concrete with like a ductile iron lids, kind of like a manhole lid, heavy, heavy duty. So this is a drainage flume slash swale. Um, I think I say swell, but it's swale, swale. Um, good luck with that. Anyway, over here at my house, um, all the water pools up here. We, we had some, we were doing some work. So there's some extra dirt here that's making it pile up more, but, um, that is the only thing that would work there because a pipe, I mean, the girls play basketball, uh, volleyball, whatever. Um, there's a beach ball, actually one of these giant beach balls in the driver right now, but that will clog a uh, pipe up. No problem on this. It will not clog it up. So, um, you got that. And then there's different applications. So honestly, between um, when you've really got a lot of flow, um, and it doesn't have to be concrete, by the way, it can be grass and underneath that grass, kind of like that uh, previous example in the golf course, you can do a grass swell. And then underneath that, put a French drain. That way, if you've kind of always got like over here, a lot of times we'll have continual runoff after um, after it rains so if you've got continual runoff a french drain underneath that would be great um, helps it seep back into the soil or you can divert it to the gutter without constantly keeping that wet if it is grass and you decided not to go concrete which i get if you're going between two houses kind of in a smaller um, like garden community type yard um, you might not want a bunch of concrete running between there however um, sometimes people will do like a rock, they call it a dry creek, and it's the same thing. No, it's just a uh, more of a compact drainage um, area that, um, uh, you know, it, it looks pretty like a dry creek, but when it, it's functional, where when it rains, it carries that water out to the street, into the storm drain, into the lake, as That's opposed to uh, just staying mushy and squishy. Just a ton of water. Okay, so the problem with French drains is that they do get clogged with roots, sediment, and some of that other stuff. A lot of times people will try to unclog them with a cable machine, and that cable will tear up the pipe. So this is the only way to clear a French drain. So if you've got a French drain corrugated black pipe, um, let us help you clean it out with one of uh, one of these hydro jetters. By the way, this jetter will do 4,000 PSI, 9 gallons a minute. We have another one that'll do 4,000 PSI, 18 gallons a minute. You don't need that much, that second one, unless you've got an um, apartment building or something like that. But uh, um, totally the way to maintain and keep up with what you have. If, if we can help... Uh with uh, designing or, or any of that other stuff, or if you're doing a drainage flume, French drain or whatever, we can definitely help you with that. Um, give us a holler. Uh, glad to help. It's kind of a, uh, I really like working on, <laughs> I like working on those things. Um, uh, especially whenever the water really gets to flowing and you're really trying to figure out how to get it out off the property. So anyway, if we can help you with that, we'd love to help you. Uh, do what you ought to call clear water.